Okay, so, as you all hopefully know, and are hopefully already very excited about, it is Art Pop Anniversary Month. I will be doing a bevy of looks that I created for Art Pop. Art Pop, and I'll do that every time as well, so get used to it. So today, I'll be recreating one of my favorites. This beautiful Versace goddess look, Gaga wore when she rode the white horse on the red carpet in this beautiful purple Versace gown. I obviously do not <laughs> have a purple Versace gown, sadly. I'm sad about it, I hope you are too. So I'm wearing a, just a basic frock that peasants wear, <laughs> peasants like myself. So yeah, let me pop this wig on and let's party. I'm gonna start with this iconic London prep set and glow. Smashbox Vitamin Glow Photo Finish Primer because it's fabulous. And the vibe was otherworldly skin glowing for the gods. So just get the skin very moist. I know everyone hates that word with the vengeance, but it's a word for a reason. <laughs> you might notice um, I did use face tapes for this look, but I'm not using them on myself today. This is Chanel LeBlanc. It's a primer. And it's literally LeBlanc. It's like white, iridescent gorgeousness. As you can see, I have barely any left. I mix this with the Chanel Vida Lumiere. For me, I'm gonna go with some 10 beige, some 12 beige rose, and should we try a little 20 beige? Let's check it out. So this foundation is really beautiful and it's called Vita Lumiere Aqua. It's not like oil based. It goes on really beautiful, almost like a BB cream, but even lighter. You'll see. And I like to mix it with that LeBlanc because it just gives this, give this, gives this like iridescent but not shimmery or glittery gorgeous finish. Something that is a little similar to this LeBlanc is this Clé de Peau smoothing base for lines. I will show you. It's a bit thicker, but it has a similar color. Now that I've dispensed that, <laughs> um, allow us to utilize it and put just a little more of this on. And these little bottles last forever because as you can see, you only need like a tiny dot. And you get beautiful coverage. Just evens out the skin and makes it look really natural and gorgeous. So look how fabulous that looks on the skin. I use these Giorgio Armani High Precision Retouch. I have them in four, three, and one. So I used these, blah, blah, blah. I used these a lot during Art Pop because they have this lovely finish. You just need a tiny bit. That was number one. The numbering on the shades um, is maybe a bit puzzling. So that's one. This is three. Are you puzzled yet? <laughs> and this is number four. One, three. Let's give four a little. That's four. So that is significantly warmer and darker, but they're gorgeous, so I'll allow it. They almost have like a watery consistency, but not in a bad way. And the best kind of way. They're very liquid and super highly pigmented. And once they dry down, they just look like skin. They don't move. And you can put them under the eyes 
in places that tend to get aged with concealer and they will not age you or crease. Totally fabulous. Let's just move on to these eyebrows. So the color I did for this was, I believe it was this one. So this is the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in the label is no longer there, but I want to say it's blonde. This is what it looks like, if that's helpful. Hopefully it is. <laughs> so her brows were bleached, and this gave them like, almost like a gingery, warm hue. And since I don't have hairs right here, I will paint that on with a brush. And the Anastasia brow gels do have some light reflection to them which does look very nice because hairs do naturally reflect light. So no matter what color your eyebrows are, you can color them whatever color you like. It's a fun transformative trick because it really does like change your whole vibe. All right, I am seeing it's not quite going as light as I want it to. So we're going to turn to our friend Giuliani, who always gets the job done. This is Ash Brown. Let's try it. What do we got to lose? Ooh. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Like, especially if you don't have dense eyebrows, they will paint that shit and give you some intense coverage. Like you don't have to conceal them first or anything. Just like, bam, you have blonde eyebrows or brown or black or whatever. <laughs> Look at me now. Meanwhile, you're like, I don't see anything. Hers are a little blonder. I'm still not satisfied. <laughs> Let's go blonder. These brows are gonna be so dimensional. Okay, I think I should have done the blonde first and then layered the other color over, but we have finally achieved the correct color. This is NARS Puerto Vallarta. A delightful color. I'm gonna use this BoxyCharm brush. Just give it a little knock knock who's there. And doing a very gentle contour. we want it to look very au natural so that people are like is that makeup or are you just gorgeous <laughs> and then you're like I'm just gorgeous duh see how natural that looks and we're going to take a pincy bit of Puerto Vallarta on our little Mac 286 brush and just do a little bit in the crease. Just like that, just a little warmth in there. Not a perceptible crease. Maybe she's born with it. Now, this is Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer number three. So beautiful. Look at that beauty. And Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in number 10. This MAC brush in 130. I love this for all my creams. Again, we're going very light and high. Start right here like above the ear. Use the ear as your guide. And to avoid getting too much product on, you can always tap it on and then use a brush to do the blending so that you're not continuing to blend with the brush with all the product on it. 
same MAC brush into what's left over on our hand into the eye crease so that all these colors we're using match and look like the natural shadows and highlights of our face because we're just so gorgeous. You always want to start the heaviest rightness of the ear. And then blend from there. You don't want it to come out bronze contour. You don't want to contour to the mouth because that will end up making it look kind of old. <laughs> this is La Prairie Peach Glow Cream Blush. I am obsessed. I think it's discontinued. I do apologize, but it's the best. Tap into it. Tap it, tap it, tap it. Stay high on the cheeks. A little bit on the tip of the nose. Boop. Just boop. Lay it on temples. Blending brush. It just gives the most beautiful, like, natural flush color that ever lived. <laughs> ever. We can even take a little extra and start getting a little lip color on. <laughs> now we're going to start building some illumination. So I'm going to begin with this beautiful iconic London illuminator in original. We're going to do... Let's blend those first so we don't get blinded. You know, I love the upper lip do. That fake sweaty upper lip. That's my jam. And the side eye do. Oh my gosh. And I don't like bring it over here because that's when you start to illuminate things you don't want to illuminate. Oh, oh yo, oh yo, catch this. Oh ladies, like I'm out of here, you're too, being too weird. This Giorgio Armani blushing fabric, second skin blush. This is what it looks like. There's three colors and it looks like that. It's a totally different texture than the others. And it's magnifique. Because I love getting blushy. And I feel like if you add different layers of cream blush, it just adds beautiful dimension. And it looks real. It looks like it's coming from within the skin. I always line the eyes with Highbrow by Benefit, even though it's for a highbrow. I'm gonna take this Tarsarella brush and I do this into the highbrow. It's a beautiful pencil that's very, mushy is the wrong word, but it's in the neighborhood of mushy in the best way. It's emollient is perhaps the correct word. So I take that and I line the eye, but just the waterline, especially in the inner corner. And this makes the eye look even bigger and more beautiful. And sometimes I will even 
tap it on the upper lash line because it does highlight the lid and just liven things up. It's the perfect like white pink color that just brightens. Look how bright and big my eyes look. As you saw, there's not much on this brush, so it's not like my eyelids are white now. Okay. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Duo. This beautiful highlighter is my best friend. <laughs> this was the Art Pop Illuminator. It looks like dew. <laughs> it's unlike any other highlighter I've ever used. It actually comes with its own, or doesn't come. You separately purchased, sorry I misspoke, um, a brush for it. I have it right here. But I just feel like it goes into the skin much better if you do it like this with your fingers. Because a thicker application, it can kind of look white on the skin. But if you just beat it in like this, it looks magical. And I like to kind of observe where the light is naturally hitting the skin and then just accentuate that. Like where the light reflects off your skin in places that it's flattering, not where you would want a powder. And just make that a little more extra. This is what I call the baby glow. The baby skin. It's how uh, children skin glows. Rosy cheeks. Little dewy, 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 dewy. Ding. I'm a baby. I'm extra weird today, I apologize. All right, let's do these eyes, shall we? So, <laughs> the eyes were quite simple. Quite simply beautiful. No, but really, they're quite simple. Chanel eyeliner brush that I've heard is discontinued, but I've also heard there are sites you can buy it on, so just keep your eyes peeled. My dad used to always say that, and I'd be like, ow, that sounds painful. So I'm gonna use this Dip Down by MAC, because I'm pretty sure I did brown liner. Looks more natural. And I just love a brown liquid liner. Don't you think? It is a subtle line. It's almost like a tight line. So you can get as close to the inside of the lashes as you can. You're really just trying to accentuate the lash line. It's a very simple liner, but it's very beautiful. Okay, we're back. We're better than ever, because we have a baby with us. Now we're gonna curl the lashes. Ta-da! Perhaps that glow. Iconic London. Hope Rocky doesn't lick it off of us. Yeah, you. Then we're gonna take our Smashbox 
photo finish lash primer. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is for me. Look at the primer lashes. No prime Rocky's lashes. <laughs> I need to keep my makeup on, Rock. All right, they're primed enough. Whatever. Mm. Oh yeah. I have these individual eyelashes in flare short black and i'm going to apply some of these because that's how i roll and that's what i did for this look i'm going to glue directly on the tray like so use a pair of tweezers be very very quiet and you just pluck them off like so helps to fill out the lashes and make them a little more dramatic. Just a few here and there. In this inner corner here, I used a very specific product I used to use all the time that of course I don't have. I can recreate it. It's by NARS. It's They still make it. It's called Albatross and it is divine. So instead of Albatross, it's like a yellow very specific yellow white gold. This is Cover FX. This is Ritual Defeat in Fornax Eye Soot. I think a combo of these will be divine. That's what that looks like. And that's what the swatch. So the first one I just swatched is too pink, but the Cover FX in the Fornax which sounds very sexy, <laughs> are gonna work beautifully. And I literally would just do this all the time, actually, right here. in the inner corners. I would line the waterline with it. Like so. I do apologize for my whispering, but if you saw the madness that was a few moments ago, you'd be whispering too. Just like the places on the eye that I want to be extra light in eye catching, but very strategically placed. You can also take some of this and go just right there. You don't want it too much because you don't want it to be like, oh, it's a brow highlight. I'm going to line the lips after we give them a little gentle stain. This is Becca in Grapefruit. See how it's like a beautiful peachy nude? Then this Stella, I mean Stella. <laughs> Stella! My brain decided to take the day off today. Okay, I'm gonna use a lip brush. Take some of this Stella, not Stella. This is a lip and cheek tint in case I didn't enunciate enough. And take some more La Prairie Peach Glow. The 
the laptop is dead, so no more references. It's all in here though. I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier Matte Translucent Smooth Focus Pressed Setting Powder Shine Control. It's a long name, but it's well described. In this Stila Double Ended Brush. I love this end for powders. You just swirl on in there and you can get a very precise powder of only the places you want to powder. A lot of powder brushes are too large for my liking because you can't really focus on where you actually want to powder. It just goes everywhere. Whereas those are the only places I want powdered. Uh -huh. And I don't remember if I accentuated her mole or left it as is. So I'm going to get dipped down back out as a toothpick. Surprise, surprise. Am I looking like Versace goddess yet? <laughs> I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna dip this end into this dip down. This might not work, we'll see. Okay, I'm into it. I just want a, a natural looking bowl. Alright, I'm going to use this Kevin Aquan Flesh Tone Lip Pencil in Pitch. P E C H E. I don't know how you say it, guys. And just do a little extra contour. In shape. It also helps to keep the stains in place for longer. There's just something about the finish of a stain and a lip pencil to me that is so pretty. I don't know. I know people love glosses and stuff, but this to me just looks like lips and it's heavenly. So that's actually it. It's not too complicated. The most complicated part was having these adorable joggies here. But this is, let me fix this now that he's not trying to eat it. This is the Gaga Red Carpet AMA Purple Versace on the White Horse makeup look. Art Pop era. <laughs> I have many more art pop looks planned for you, my precious. <laughs> so stay tuned. Comment what your favorite art pop looks are because I am curious. I've been doing some detectiving of my own, but I'm curious to see what your favorite looks are. And that may affect what looks I do. Anyway. I hope you liked this one. I wish I had the gown and a white horse to really make it complete, but I do have this adorable blue black puppy and that blue puppy and that's even better. Happy anniversary art pop. I love you and I love you and I love you and I love you. Goodbye!